So now we're gonna do the rest of what's in my bag. You got a couple more golf clubs. I got a few more. All right, let's see it. What do you got? So let's start have, with the driver. Let's well, start at the top. Let's go bottom. Nope, top. Okay. I, I insist. One, Westfield's head cover. I love that place. It's a good place. It's in, uh, it's in Westfield Center, Ohio, just by Lodi. Mm -hmm. So I play a Ping G430 9 degree LST, sorry, mm -hmm. with a Tensei Orange 1K. 70 TX, so it's about an 80 gram driver shaft. We know a little bit about this guy. Yeah. This guy has made an appearance and found a home on the channel. Yes. So this was the winner of the bracket challenge. Well, the winner was actually at the eight degree setting. We've adjusted, because yeah, you've adjusted. I was, I was hitting up four degrees and you've, I got You've evolved. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of get to one or zero. It's okay. So I need a little extra loft, a little extra speed. Mm -hmm. So but this is good, and you hit this well. We've tested this against other things. Yeah, there have been other things that have attempted to displace this. Just, just no. No, it's just it's good. The heel or the weight is in the heel because I tend to go that way at from time to time. Or let's say I like to heel it on the miss. The only other club I use an align grip on is my driver. Again, that's funky. I know. Those are the only like two areas that I don't put a line club on. It is so backwards. <laughs> Whatever, it works. Again, scoring clubs, my wedges, I just like to know where the face is. And with a driver, I like to know where the face is. Hey, whatever with works, my yeah. irons, I'll figure it out. So we got the driver. Yeah. As you mentioned before, cut. All day. Is there a reason you want to cut this golf club? I can't control draws. Fair point. I understand And I need that. spin, so more I, spin equals straighter for Ian. I do the same thing. All right, I like it. Well, so the ideal spin for me is like 2,500. Yeah. To 27-ish. Mm, probably Fine, touch, 24 to 27. I was say, maybe a touch low, lower than 27, yeah. but 27 is acceptable. Yeah. Um, so we got the big dog. We talked yeah. about the fairway wood. Yes. Talk to us about this. So that's an alignment stick. Yeah. With the coolest alignment stick head cover. The Windy City Wizard. Yes. I like the Windy City Wizard. I'm a fan of Bettinardi custom head covers, so I, I had to get I'm also one. But a fan. I'm actually gonna steal this. He doesn't know that yet. Yeah, we're gonna put that back on there and we're just gonna let me give him my ping one. I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what do you do with that? What do I do with what? Your alignment stick. Make sure it's when I'm on the range, it's the first thing. I always make sure I'm aligned up. Why is there only one? That's all I need. That's right. So this is this is the guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Talk to us about that guy. We like this. It's a three iron. It's more of a two and a half degree loft. You'd yeah, say I, it's I a degree I honestly stronger. Honestly, don't even know what the loft is on. I think loft. nineteen. We both played it. I think the it's same 19. setting. Yeah. It's just got my iron shaft in it, a Project X six five. Mm -hmm. So, goes about two forty carry. yards. Two forty carry. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yep. About. Now. I use it more of like an off the tee, low stinger shot if needed. Mm -hmm. But I can also get it up in the air a little higher than my four iron for into par five. Yes, so it's a good club, and yes. and we made a little adjustment from what you had before shaft wise, and this yeah. is the first introduction of it. So let's talk about it. I actually think now that the shaft's a little stiffer, it goes higher. From well, what I've done, that's actually what happens. Yeah, yeah, so. you know, a little bit less bendy. Yeah, Technical I like it. Less bendy. Yeah. What is it? You didn't tell us what oh, it is. Oh, it's a ping eye crossover. Sorry. No, you didn't tell us about the shaft. Oh, it's a Project X65. I said that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I broke but it. But yeah, I love it. It's a good club. What do you got next? Talk to us about your irons. Irons are ping I230s with, you know, the Project X65s. They're length and a half an inch. Mm -hmm. Is the length on the two? Also a half inch. Plus, okay. Yeah. There we go. I, I, I was playing standard for a little bit, but it made me crouch too much, so I just put the half inch length on. Just curious, who, who who told you to do that the first time? What, crouch? No, uh, get taller. Oh, well, the guy. It's, um, it's not the handsome young gentleman standing next to you, is it? No. So, no, of course not. I play I-230s, because <laughs> I'm looking for a specific ball flight window, which is low, but spinny. Yes, and you hit these so good. Yeah. You, these are like, I don't care what anyone says. You hit these incredibly well. And I'm not a guy that hits the center of the face all the time. So that's why I went with what? the I-230, which is more MOI. And... All we do is stripe the middle, bro. What are you talking about? I don't. 
neither do I. So <laughs> yeah, I cut I cut the I cut the shanks out of the videos that you guys don't see. So there's like seven or eight of the video, especially if there's a wedge. They it, they last twelve minutes. It's like forty five minutes. It's ridiculous. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but they give me. Let's just say I hit my pitching wedge about 145, yeah, 145 and the gapping is basically perfect. 15 yards on each clock. It's perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's, it doesn't get better. Yeah. Now, do you like to, to flight these or attempt to flight these? Oh, all? yeah. I, I can hit these low. Low? How about high? Oh, very. Do you try to work the ball right and no. left, left and right? Always a little cut. Try and play a little cut? I can now, try to draw it out of the trees. That's it. Okay. So, what's the intent on the cut with the irons. We understand why you're doing it with the driver and more spin and everything. Is it relatively similar here? Yeah. I just want to go to the ball. Basically, I want my dispersion to be a pickle. A little there pickle. Like a, a little pickle. baby gherkin. Like I want it. A little baby dill. The back to, yeah, baby dill. <laughs> like back to front, be real skinny, but it can be a little. This exactly. That, and I it, don't want it left. That's actually a really good way of describing it yeah. because front to back dispersion is from a fitting perspective. More important. More important than right and left. Yeah. Right and left, that's on you. Yeah. Right, I can't, I can't fix that. Yeah. But front to back, I can, I can, I can do that. You like know? I just hit these warming up a little bit, and on a seven iron back to front was like plus or minus a yard. I think it was actually, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. So. They're so good. Now, what's the whole set makeup? What do you do here? Uh, wedge through four iron. Wedge to four iron, and then the three iron and the crossover. Anything funky with lofts? They're power spec. So what does that mean? That means they're stronger depending on the iron by a degree and a half to two. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you want them stronger? I like to hit them low. And, and if they were the normal lofts, they would go a little too high and spin a little, a little too spinning. Much. Exactly, yep. Because yeah. ping offers something cool, right? Yeah. Power spec, retro spec. And kind of how I always like to talk to people about that when we're talking about that is think less like distance, more long trajectory. Yeah. trajectory. Like yeah. the, the carry was the same with both, mm -hmm. normalized. Yeah, we but just, we got, it, just we got it to look different in terms yeah. of how it was getting there. And that's the important part. I also play power spec, same thing, right? We're looking for something to kind of live in a pretty specific way. Yeah. So that's a good way to put it. Um, other than that, talk to us a little bit about the bag because we got the irons, we got the clubs. So this is the new Hoofer bag that has like three pockets on this side, two water bottles, the magnet thing, my company logo, and it's got a lot of cool little things. It is a cool bag. Yeah. I do like this bag. It's I, weird to geek out about a bag, but it's a great bag. It's such a good bag. And it's and, not too heavy. And here's the crazy part about it. I also play the same bag. And I didn't respect how good the bag was oh. until I went and I played golf with it. Yeah. That was, it was. It's whoa, great. Whoa. Yeah. You know, have you walked with yours yet? Uh, push cart. Push cart. So I've, I've actually done, I did a nine hole walk. Oh, you did? Right after, right very early after getting it. Dude, it's such a good walking bag. Yeah. It's so perfect. It sits perfectly on your back. Yeah. You know? So I like good. this color scheme though. It's a good color like scheme. Like the little brown and blue with the white. It's 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 a good color. It's already scheme. sold out. It was sold out like the week they got. There. I know a place where you can get one. Where? Here. Oh, okay. I have one, I think. Maybe two. Oh. Maybe maybe one. They're sold out online. Well, it's so yeah. that one, yeah. we have one of those too. <laughs> All right, so this is the That's 2024. The What's in the bag, range finder? Uh, just push down. Anything special with your golf tees? The freer, the better. There we go. I joke because I, I, I pay a country club membership and I just get free tees and popcorn. The golf's extra. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. That's about right. That's about where it's at, you know? <laughs> It is good popcorn. Though. It's great. <laughs> I'll give him credit for that. I do like the popcorn. I pay for the popcorn, the golf section. Golf just is there, you yeah. know. One thing I do have to say about my driver is that if you can ever hit that low stinger ball, that's what that thing lets me do. There we go. I mean, if you watched, no. if you watched any of what Homa and Scheffler were doing at the Masters, hitting that low stinger shot like on hole eight, that's basically what I can do with that thing. It's amazing. It is very true. Okay. All right, AJ's bag. So, my bag. Let's start with the driver. Start with the driver, okay. We got the awesome Pebble Beach head cover. Because you played there. I love this golf course. Love this head cover. Um, I also play an LST Ping G430. Um, mine's a little different. So, I have a 10 and a half degree head. I have it set to flat in 10 and a half. 
I have the weight in the toe, it's a 17 gram weight. And then I also have eight grams of weight in the heel to kind of neutralize. Like the hot melt? Yeah, eight melts, rat glue, hot melt, ghee glue, whatever you want to say it. Um, but it's down here and it just kind of balances out a little bit, right? Um, I play the Ventus Velocor Plus in a 7X. I'll hold it this way. Um, I love the shaft. I've been searching for a long time, since 2019, to find a shaft that felt like the original Ventus that I had. Yeah. And this is truly the only one I found that actually feels that way. And I have tried so many driver shafts. Yeah. I, like we were joking, there are two driver shafts out there that I had not had much experience with prior to this. That was the TPT, which I now do, yeah. and then an Autoflex. Yeah. And I know that's not for me. So <laughs> that was, literally that was it. Like I have tried so many other things. Yeah. This is fantastic. Um, align and, grips on all of them. Align grips on everything except my wedges, mid-size. Um, the thing that I love about this is I also like to play a cut off the tee. I play like a little pull draw. I'm trying to with everything else, but this is a pull cut. And I like that because it just lets me swing hard, right? And this has been pretty good. I haven't had it super long as brand new, but it's been pretty good, right? I can't complain. I love this club. Great setup. Um, even you got decent results out of this when we test it. it it's might too be short. Again, I, I do play it in respect. It's 44 <laughs> inches long. Yeah. 44 inches long, approximately a D6 swing weight, um, flat one degree. It's pretty looking. Really nice. Looks like a what? Lightsaber? Tip, the, the, well, Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber, of course. Oh, okay. You know, um, tipped something. Can't remember in all honesty. <laughs> But uh, it's good. I love this thing. This thing is fantastic. Sweet. So well, I guess we'll just, we'll go along here next. All right, so what's this? We share this club. This this is basically. this is a great club. I love this club. I am, I can't tell you how happy I am about this club because <laughs> this is an eye crossover set up one degree Sweet, strong stronger. and one degree up, right? So I play blue dot in my irons. So it kind of matches up with that. Um, originally I had my iron shaft in there, which was a money taper. But it was a 120. It was a 120, it was a money taper stiff. I play the 130X in my irons um, and I wanted to try. Just try it. Right, I wanted to try. I like Fujikura. I'm a huge fan of Velocor. So I said, why not, right? So I got one and I put it in this. Well, the one thing that it, I, I I wasn't thrilled about with this when I first got it was before I had in this club setup one of my favorite clubs ever, which you remember is my Mizuno MPH5. Yeah, the fly high. The fly high. Well, well what was it a fly high? Yet? It was an H5. Yeah. yeah. Um, love that club. I actually had the last head that existed in the country. That's the last one I had. Because <laughs> I got another one like 10 years after the club was a club. But I wanted to try this one. I like the crossovers and everything. And I knew I was going to get a little more pop out of it, which I did. However, it went a little low. So I tried the I Axiom. I also found that with my old one. It did. It, it, it went a little low. I put the Axiom 125X in here. And I love this shaft. Like, I can't say it enough. This thing goes higher. I hit it farther. It feels better. It's easier, seemingly, to hit, right? I mean, you, you had the same thing. You, you, we got better numbers out of this with you when we did our video, right? This is just a great shaft. I'm this, you might see more of these, but um, I love this club. This for me is more than just a tee shot club. I hit this off the deck into par fives, right? That kind of thing. Um, you know, I don't hit it as far as Ian does, so I got to be a little more versatile. <laughs> it, it works well, though. This is a good club, good weapon. I'm glad that this is here. Now, this is a rotate club for me, right? So it's between Ooh. this and the three wood. But oh. I have one extra club. Oh, I did not know that. It really just depends on where we're playing. No, right? but, but you're thinking of almost putting these in your irons. I'm very, very close, close to doing that. I yeah. love my irons for various reasons, and I have had tremendous results with my irons thus far. However, I really love this shot. I mean, it looked great. It looks great. I mean, it's so good. And it, it's good for the elbow. 
Yeah. Right, this feels good. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. So for the irons, I play Ping Blue Princesses. Fantastic golf clubs. Gorgeous golf clubs. They do look pretty. They're very good. Um, I play four two pitching wedge in these. All of my irons, three iron included, are plus a half an inch and what would be equivalent to a blue dot or one degree upright line angle. They are also power spec. So I also play power spec. And for me, again, the reason why we're power specking is because I was trying to take some spin off. I got a little spinny towards the end of last year. Um, Change the swing up a little bit, right? And my old irons, they did spin a bit more than I wanted them they to. They spun a lot. They spun a lot. <laughs> a lot. These, much better, right? I love the feel, I love the look. Um, they're just really good. And one of the things that's really unique is I actually wasn't originally going to put the long irons in the blueprint S's. I was going to get your 230s. Yeah. But this little kind of channel, little pocket in here, right? Helped you out. I was pleasantly surprised how much higher I was able to hit this. Like, I almost kind of like the longer irons better than the shorter irons with these. And I don't say that very often. You know, these are good. So, blueprint S, four to pitch, in the bag, probably not coming out anytime soon. They're just, they're just, they're really good. I got some alignment sticks. Little green is your favorite color. Green's my favorite color. Been there for a long time. Got a little ping cover on there. Um, I love it. You know, it's fun. I use these really to identify two things for me. So one, it kind of helps me with ball position when I'm practicing, make sure kind of I'm in that proper window. Yep. Right. Um, but then two, I like to set up open and sometimes I get lazy and I don't set up open. So these help me make sure that I'm setting up to target the way I want. So two things that are super, super important. Um, you know, nothing more than that, but when I'm like really getting range work in, these are always out there doing their thing. So very, very good. Um, mm -hmm. We'll talk about the bag again, same bag. Great bag. Ping Hoofer, right? The five way top, it's just, it's so good. The bag is, is fantastic. The multi this is the Alpine Multicam. Yep. I like that a lot. It's got, I got really cool. Again, it's got pockets on days. I got really cool patches. I do like your patches. My patches are the best patches. We'll get it close. It's to inspired me to get patches on a golf bag. It's literally the coolest thing. Yeah. There is nothing that feels better than looking at that and saying, I got patches. You'll see what the patches are. Um, but again, it's just, it's a lightweight bag. It's super durable. Pockets and organization, it just doesn't get better. Um, I love everything about this bag. It's a fantastic bag. I just got a green golf towel because once again, green. I like green. Yep. Um, Trinkets. I use a Bushnell Pro XE laser from, I don't know what this is, like two years old, something like yeah. that. Whatever. I use them until they break and then I get a new one. Very simple. Ball markers. I do have some ball markers. So a couple cool ones and then hashtag buckets. Hashtag. <laughs> coolest thing ever. I love this ball marker. I got a Pelican Hill ball marker. I got a Pebble Beach ball marker. Just just cool memories, right? Like, that's the coolest part about the little trinkets of golf. You find it in a golf bag. Just cool memories. Um, I do use Arcos. Yeah, talk about Arcos. So Arcos is really cool. You see all the sensors on all my clubs, right? One of these are on everything. And to make it work, I have to have this on my belt when I play golf. And this just basically hears when I make impact, right? So Arcos acts as a GPS from an app perspective. Um, so I can use it. It's actually a very, very good GPS, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it also gives you an idea of essentially what a strokes gain perspective could look like from your golf game. Yeah, It's really, really helpful. Since I started using this, and I've used this for five years now, I don't think anything has helped me improve more than this. Right, because it gives you an idea of what what you should be working on, if you will. Right, yeah. gives you an idea of truly how far you hit your stuff in actual game time environments. Right, we talked about it a little bit before. All of my data in terms of clubs and how far I hit my clubs and everything, it all comes from this. Right, um, I don't care too much about kind of what happens in here. I care about what launch condition looks like when I'm doing a fitting and everything like that. And that's really it. If I get the launch condition that I know is good and helpful, then I feel good about it, right? In terms of trusting it, I wanna use my golf ball. I wanna be off grass. I wanna do all that kind of stuff, right? Because that affects it a little bit. Yeah. So all of that data comes from 
real gathering of data, right? So after two or three more rounds, I'll have a really good window of what this golf bag looks like and we go from there, you know? So it's it's a great thing. I, I can't say enough about Arcos. Arcos is such a good piece of kit. It's just awesome. I didn't talk about my Strokes Gain software. Throw it in. But I use Clipped. Um, mm -hmm. I've been using it for about a year and I think it's like the best Strokes Gain software That's there is. That's more specific to Strokes Gain. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do have to put everything in manually, but mm -hmm. it's really, it's just an app on my phone and I do it real quick and it gets intricate measurements of everything. Mm -hmm. And I mean, last year it said that my approach play was basically a six handicap, even though I was a plus four. <laughs> so the whole winter I have just been working on approach play. And Literally I've got hitting it. hundred yard golf shots, yeah. that's all he does. It went from, so the PGA Tour average on this, I'll show it maybe in the video, is a hundred. It was at 82 at the lowest. Mm -hmm. So it's up to a 90, which is about a scratch. Hell yeah, man. That's so awesome. we're getting there. But that's all I've been working on. So. It's, it's true. It's all he's done, right? I mean, and the again, first two times I was out, I had 15 greens the first time and 13 the second time. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's important to understand what you do, Yeah. right? Both of us are golf nerds, like I said. And I think for both of us, improvement at this point, you know, in terms of our caliber of play. It's in the weeds, okay. Well, again, but if for for our caliber of play and our commitment and time that we have, it has to be a data-driven, diligent, pretty practice. pinpointed thing. Yeah. It can't be you hit a hundred balls and say figure it out. Yeah. You know, it's got to be pretty deliberate. And this helps. Both of us Very have good. windows that help, and that's great, right? Um, okay. Your golf club. Golf ball, golf glove, we talked about it. Callaway already for the ball. Um, glove, I use the Tor Authentic, great glove. Um, oh, honestly, probably the most durable glove I've ever used. It's so good, right? It doesn't stretch out, all leather, really good. It's like a weird blend between like a Stay Soft and a player's glove. It's really weird. Durability of Stay Soft, feel of the players. Okay. Really good, love that, and then I use pin golf tees. Okay. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's the 2024. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? And the only thing that may change is you, you might see a couple more. Actually. Fuji Curse in the bag. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Good chance. So, Austin, we are going to talk about your what's in the bag. Yes, um, sir. For starters, though, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Austin Graham. Mm -hmm. I am one of the instructors and fitters here at Windmill. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been here for about six months now, and mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying my time here and uh, meeting everybody that comes through the door. Now, talk a little bit about kind of your your playing history a little bit, just to give, give people introduction up to who you are. Yeah, yeah I played uh, full time. So I, was, I grew up in California. Uh, I played at UC Davis, uh, graduated in 2011 and then played full time for about 12 years, uh, a little bit in South America, Canada, did qualifiers all over the world. And um, my wife is from here. So uh, started a family a couple years ago and uh, that's why I'm here. So not part of the gang, right? Yeah. So you want to start top end or bottom end? Uh, let's go bottom end. Okay. So uh, let's start off. Let's do putter first then. Sure. Right. So tell us about your putter. So this, once I got introduced to this from AJ, um, it was immediately going right in the bag. This lab putter, the stability, the, you don't have to manipulate the club. I don't have to do anything differently. I just swing it, right? That's all it is. And with the stability shaft, it's just, once you learn about the technology, mm -hmm. you can't go to something else, mm -hmm. right? This is it. Um, Acro shaft. This Acro shaft yeah. is just, it, it's, everything about it is amazing. So mm -hmm. all I have to worry about is just, swinging the putter head. I don't have to worry about it opening or closing nope. or any of that. So um, pick your line, know your speed. That's right. Good players could be pretty deadly with these things in their hands. That's right. Yeah, this thing's amazing. Now, do we have any kind of sight lines or anything on that guy? Uh, we just have a little bit on top here that the, mm -hmm. the different colors, um, mm -hmm. I the putters I had in the past, I had a little bit of a sight line, mm -hmm. a small one or a dot, depending on what I was using. Uh, but this just gives me a little bit um, more confidence of where I'm lining up and where that ball is on the face. Mm -hmm. Now you're coming from something obviously a little different than this. Yes. Was it difficult to transition to something like this? Not one bit. Pretty easy, right? Pretty, very easy. That's yeah. that's the biggest thing is yeah. 
it really isn't a very difficult thing to switch into, right. especially when you kind of have a pretty good putting stroke, you know, because it just, it simplifies even yeah. more. And a good putter can be, like I said, pretty deadly when you got a pretty simplified idea around the greens. So right. that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's talk about your wedges next. So I have the TaylorMade M4 with a little bit different designs on all these. Um, I have my 60 degree with 10 degrees of bounce. I, have, I play a 56 with 12 degrees and 52 with nine. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why is my 56, I use that out of heavy sand, thick sand, mm -hmm. something I have to, I can use the bounce a little bit more for, something yeah. more thin, dry, tight lie, I use my 60 um, and, and I can change the club face and how I'm working it through the turf much easier. Um, using different bounces. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of shaft do we have in these? What do you play in your wedges? I have the DG120 S300s. Okay. Um, and I've played these for years, many years. And mm -hmm. I like them because of the stability. Okay. I like the feel. Um, a lot of it is down at impact. Mm -hmm. And that's where I feel most stable. Some other, the other shafts I've tried, some are, just don't feel, some are, feel more boardy. And yeah. I don't have the feel around the greens and some feel it's a little bit wobbly down the bottom. Okay. So these ones I found really, really work well. Um, but you play the shots you want. Exactly, play, right? yep. Um, how about length, lie, what do you do? Is it standard, standard, everything's standard. Everything's yep. standard, yep. okay, very good. The lie on um, the 60 mm -hmm. um, is one degree flat. The other flat one, yeah. Lie. Okay, yep. that's good. Now, around the greens, are you utilizing all three of these or? Mainly 60, 52, and then I'll go in my pitching wedge or my eight iron for bump and run shots. And that's how I've done since I was a kid and I just feel more comfortable. So with that's that. interesting. So the 56, full shots and really bunker play, that's, that's kind of it. it, right? Yeah. There yeah. you go. See, I like that. That's not yep. bad. Um, do you have like a go-to shot that you kind of like to play around the greens? What's, you know, pressure's on, what are you doing? I'm on my left side, I mm -hmm. have a square face mm -hmm. and I'm having my hands pretty neutral, a little forward, but there's mm -hmm. not gonna be much manipulation with it. Okay. Um, that's what I hit about 90% of my chip shots with. Okay, very and good. And a couple and then drills depending there. on trajectory, different Yeah, shots, all that. exactly. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about your irons now. Walk us through your iron set here, because we got a little interesting stuff going on. Right? Yeah, so I have a mixed set. Um, the P7 MBs are my 789 and pitching wedge, mm -hmm. and the 456 are the P7 MCs. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is a little bit more forgiveness in the long irons. Mm -hmm. uh, the shorter irons, I like the feel going through the turf. I like the ability to control it and work the ball a little bit in just that little bit thinner sole and a little bit um, more of a, the, the feeling, the feedback with those lower irons. Mm -hmm. As you're scoring irons, you want to be able to have a little bit more control than your longer irons. And then these longer yeah. irons, I can hit them a little bit higher in the air. Um, and that's why I switched to do a combo set. That's awesome. So. Now, often when people do a combo set, it's because they like where the break point is or something from a shape perspective or anything. Yeah. Is it strictly just performance for you or was there any type of like shape or anything like that that was important there for you? It was a little bit smaller going, looking down at the top mm -hmm. line, a little bit to my eye, just a little bit tighter, mm -hmm. um, a little bit smaller window as, as I've played the older blades in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, but mostly it was, it was a feel thing. Feel thing? Well, and and the workability. That. That's so. good. Now, same shaft in here? Same shaft in different. there, X1, oh. or the X100s, different one. Uh, DG120, and these are two degrees flat. There we go, um, in there. So the reason why is I don't like to see the ball go left. I like to draw the ball, mm -hmm. but I don't like to see that hook. You can't see the miss left. So um, with, the low, with the wedges, going through the turf, it's a little bit different. I can work the ball a bit better that mm -hmm. way. With the irons, I just want to see one one shot. Just keep it simple, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you ever try to work the ball when you're out there playing or you try to keep it pretty straight? I simple? try to keep it pretty straight. Unless I have to work it, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try to work it. But uh, I know with these clubs, you hit the turf. So as long as I'm making my normal swing, good chance I'll see that trajectory. Dude, there's something before. to be said for that, right? I mean, we just watched the Masters and you know, someone that I really, I really thought played well and played his game well was actually Max Homo, right? Mm -hmm. He just went out there and hit his shots, man, right? Yeah. And again, didn't try to do anything too crazy. Kind of played that same little shot that he'd been playing and got yeah. around himself around Augusta pretty good. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so next we have a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and talk to us a little bit about I, that guy. Using the Stealth 2 hybrid, 19.5, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, 19.5, 3 mm -hmm. hybrid with the Ventus 9X with Velcor, mm -hmm. uh, Ventus Blue. Um, these shafts, as they are through my bag, my woods, 
these are so stable and the, you see the, the windows just start tightening up compared to other shafts. 100%. And that's why I trust this. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why, why we, all we all plan. And um, I like the shape of this hybrid. It's a bit smaller than one that I played in the past. Mm -hmm. And that's why I keep this in the bag because I, I prefer a little bit smaller hybrid shape. I will say, especially through fittings and stuff, right? When I had better players and they wanted a hybrid, that one was always an easy one to bring out because one, I feel like it does actually protect against the left mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yep. We all know hybrids at time can go a little bit left. That's right. But then also you're right, the shape, really, really good there. Yeah. Um, and I actually think it's really easy for a better player really to kind of get proper ground interaction with. Yeah. Again, probably do two shape. Yep. So that's good. Um, length on this, I know these are standard, standard here standard as well. Standard length, yep, everything's Perfect. standard. Yep, yep. Okay, so I think we got a fairway wood next. We do. Let's it's talk about that guy. Same Ventus Blue 7X mm -hmm. uh, with Velocore. It's the Self 2 15 degree 3 wood. Mm -hmm. And it's um, the Plus, right? Self Plus, yep. Mm -hmm. And I love, once I find the look of a 3 wood that I like, mm -hmm. I, I I stick with it. I yeah. trust it because that's sometimes the 3 woods could be the hardest one to it's get a tough fit one. into, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so once I find it and it performs the way I'm looking for, um, and, and it's either straight ball or if it's falling just a little right. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I stick with it. So uh, this shaft again, very stable. Um, windows tightening up compared to other shafts I've had, mm -hmm. and um, sticking with it. Now with this guy, is this a tee shot kind of strictly club, or is this off the fairway as well? Sometimes both. depending on where you're playing. A little bit of both. Yeah. So, a little so depending Good. if there's short par fours, I need this, or if it's a par five, I got to get there in two, or mm -hmm. or a uh, certain situation, I will definitely use this. Okay. There we go. Let's talk about the big guy. Big guy. Got the. New QI10 LS, mm -hmm. um, weights to say is, is, is neutral, eight degree head uh, mm -hmm. with the Ventus 7X and Bellacore. Again, it's the black, The right? black, this is the black, yep. This is the same reason as the other woods. Um, the stability, the tightness of the, of the misses. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a game of misses, right? So if my misses, are, my misses, misses are smaller, are it's gonna be more in the fairway. It's, it, that's the difference between right side of the rough or right fairway. Yeah, you know, it's So it's, it's that small. Um, but yeah, this this shape looks really good. I love the way it sits down. Mm -hmm. I love there's it's very clean looking on top, and there's not much going on mm -hmm. um, other than the little tailor made logo. So um, I do think that's a good looking one. Yeah, this is no problem at all there. Um, probably one of my favorite drivers they've they've made come out with. Yeah. I, I actually I can say again from a fitting perspective, I agree with that. Um, length on that guy? Standard length. Standard yep. length. Standard, yep. So what is that? That is forty five and three quarters. Yep, I'm that's Somewhere right. Around there. Um, pretty good. So let's talk about shape specifically, because this is an interesting one with these two clubs, right? Mm -hmm. um, what's the preferred shape or the stock shape with the driver for you? Shot shape? Mm -hmm. I like, so if I, my miss is gonna be a little fade, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna fall up and go right. That's why a lot of my irons are flat. I like to go up, if it's gonna miss, it's gonna fall right. When yeah. I'm swinging well, it's gonna be a little bit of a draw. So you're a little bit of a draw here as well? Yes. Now, do you do the same with this? Is this a little bit of a draw if you're hitting well? I'm hitting well, but most of my misses are gonna be a little left to right because mm -hmm. I want my misses to be Again, falling well right. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's good. I like it, man. So let's talk a little bit about golf ball. What golf mm -hmm. ball do you play? I play the new TP5. So, uh, the new TP5. Not an X, just a regular. Mm -hmm. um, and this the reason why, it's the feel around the greens. Yeah. Um, I go from the, I work from the green backwards when I'm fitting into my ball. Yeah. And now when we fit players, a lot of times we correlate that with how much spin they have and, and long yeah. to that type it, of stuff, it, right? Because it, it's a little more, let's say, specific to our needed. Time. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, so I start from the green backwards because most of our strokes are from around the greens. And 100%. growing up, hitting a lot of short game shots, I love the feel with the softer ball. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I prefer. And I just put one little dot on it, um, not too not too crazy. Um, when I'm putting, I don't line anything up. Mm -hmm. So I just have to see kind of clean lines. I like it. Any special play number or anything? Or you just play nope. normal? No, just play normal numbers, whatever. Perfect. Whatever comes there in we the go. box, yeah. Um, what are some of the things that you can expect like out of this golf ball, let's say, driver in terms of distance. Give me like a number here, give me a number here, give me like a number here, top end of your bag, carry-wise, let's say. Uh, definitely picked up about six, seven yards carry mm -hmm. on these. Um, what I really like about it is is the misses. It's not gonna, when I'm missing, it's not gonna fall as far right or far mm -hmm. left as I had in the past, mm -hmm. and it's not gonna spin as, as much as it had in the past. Yeah. Um, and that com combined with the new head and, and that shaft, it just makes a great combination. What are you getting this out to these days? Uh, with everything, probably around 300, 290, 300. Um, 
So it just uh, depends on in, if it's wet out here in Northeast Ohio or if it's a bit drier, we'll see. That's that's yeah. how it always is, man. Yeah. Right? So. so that's good. How about anything in the bag that's maybe a little bit more unique to you or anything? Any any stories in here? Just a couple things with the wedges. Mm -hmm. um, have two year, two and a half year old and six month old. So I kind of designed their names on it with a little bit of uh, things that they like mm -hmm. and colors kind of towards them. Very cool. And then uh, my wife's on one, she wanted to do that and then uh, <laughs> Um, I just have a, a marker here that I have that I got from TaylorMade and mm -hmm. with our name on it and initials. So Very cool. That's about it. Not too bad. Yeah. So there we go, Mr. Austin. So this is 2024 setup. Any changes happen anytime soon or we're locked in, we're playing golf We're now. locked in and ready to go. There we go. Good job, man. Thanks. Thanks for helping out today. Appreciate it. Yeah, and thank appreciate you. all that you do. Thank there you. There we go. If you guys are interested in coming and getting some lessons or fitting with Austin, Come see us here at Windmill. We'll get you taken care of. Um, please like and subscribe and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.